Tech, welcome to my channel, M5 Stack Core 2 ESP32 Development Module. It does come with a battery. The battery is 110 milliamps. It doesn't last too long, so I decided to get a, a add-on module, and this was only about £9 delivered, and it gives you 110 milliamps in this one, but this one gives you 750 milliamps, so I thought, yes, why not? So the, these you know, these little, let's call them mini computers using the ESP32 system, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, are modular. So they come apart, basically. Let's pull it apart and have a look. We'll just take the front off. Now, there are touchscreen ones now. You've got buttons here, which I quite like the buttons. They go with my ham radio hobby. Uh, but there are touchscreen ones with touch buttons here. And there's another one, the Core 3 model, with no buttons, which we will be looking at eventually. Anyway, so let's have a look, take this off, and if you've never seen one of these, look at this, you know, everything is like described, you've got all your, you know, everything is there. The only thing I haven't worked out is this, what does this do, but USB-C on off, uh, GPIO pins, let's call them, SD card slot, and you, you know, you can load, you've got the M5 burner, and you can load all kinds of stuff on this. Uh, right, okay, so let's have a look at the battery that's included, which is this. Okay, and there, the thing I didn't notice was there's actually an on-off switch at the back. It says one when it's on and to click it down, two when it's off, which I didn't actually notice that there. So otherwise, you do have an on-off switch on the side, and it's almost like a reboot switch as well. And the idea is when it when you push it and it reboots, you quickly press the middle button, and then you're going to get you're going to get some depending on what firmware and what and don't forget there are thousands of different things you can run on these. Um, for me, it's ham radio, but you know I will be trying things that are not ham radio. So this is the eight pound battery. I like the fact that it's red. It's going to add a bit more colour, and it's going to make my core two module seem bigger and chunkier, which I like the idea of that. So let's just get this thing together. Just because um, it's modular, it all just pushes in together. So hopefully, we'll get it the right way around. And you can't really go wrong because you've got the GPIO pins there and it does say battery on the side. And there's the battery there. 750 milliamps. Got a little connector there, I see. Now do we, I don't think we need to mess with the connectors. There is a connector there, I notice. Uh, I'm new to this, so we'll soon find out. Now, if I plug it into there like so, okay, just plugged it in. Now, I don't know if it's charged. Now, without putting the back on, let's just quickly press the on button and see if it comes on. Yeah, it looks like it is going to come on, so there must be some power in that battery. And you'll see something that I've got running, which is called DX Tracker. Looks like that, and it does do many other things. It looks a lot better in real life. Uh, that's all I can say to that. Now let's add the back on because I'm hoping I can just add the back and it's, it's not going to overload it or anything. We'll soon find out. Um, yeah, it seems all right. And that's a nice, that's become a nice chunky sort of size now. I'm hoping that it will just drain both batteries back out there. If you hit the middle, look, you've got your selections here. So that's it really, thought I'd show it, yeah, really pleased with that, very pleased indeed, shame the cap camera doesn't focus. The new, the interesting thing is that the new model, the Core 3 model, does have a camera, has a speaker, Have literally just came through the post now, what are we reading here, dual core, 2.4 Wi-Fi, 60 megabyte flash, 8 megabyte PS RAM, USB-C, SD card, a couple of buttons it says, dual microphone, one watt speaker, geometric sensor, yeah, and I just actually ordered a 433 megahertz add-on, you can get a GPS add-on, but I didn't really want that, but the, I like the 433 megahertz add-on. There it is there, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, I'm a ham radio operator, but... I couldn't resist it. Give me some hints what I can do with it. Bye for now, all the best. 